looking out. It's Halloween on Tuesday. So we went and saw Happy Death Day. And judging by the trailer, it looks quite jumpy and quite tense mm. and, and, and quite scary, but it, it turned out it's a bit of a horror comedy. Yeah. That was, <laughs> it's, not, it's not very much of a Halloween, like it's not really a horror movie per se, but it's yeah. got elements of horror. Yeah, it's not like massively supernatural, mm. it's not massively gory, yeah. but it's, it's, I'd say it's a good movie. But uh, mm. let's jump into our plot. We've got Tree or Teresa, Tree for short, mm. who uh, is your sort of stereotypical... <laughs> Standard sorority girl, isn't it? Yeah, mean girl. sorority college girl. And uh, she's... Mean Girls. Yeah, he's actually... Regina George from yeah, Mean Girls. Basically, yeah, basically. Yeah, but in college version. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so she's one of these mean sorority girls and she wakes up in a dorm room after like a crazy night out, doesn't remember anything. And she goes through her day and it's quite normal, it's quite regular, doing all of the normal horrible things that she does every day. <laughs> Gathering enemies. <laughs> Gathering enemies and, you know... <laughs> basically, yeah. A list of suspects and um and then she gets murdered mm. and then she wakes up and it's the same day so she's caught in a loop and every day she gets up she gets in, killed in the same she room wakes up okay. in the same room over and over again very much like groundhog day Ed edge of tomorrow yeah. mm. live die repeat <laughs> Whatever it's called. <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever that tagline is. And then... Um, with a horror film maker. With a, with a slasher yeah. kind of... Yeah. 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 You described it very well. Um, you said it's the Scream. The yeah, I said, series I, mixed I, with this I said it's like the Edge of Tomorrow yeah. mixed with a bit of Scream. Scream yeah. Though, of course, I mean, in the build up, the people were saying that it's like the throwback to a slasher movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. I kind of disagree with that in a sense. I mean, it's got slasher elements, but it's, it's, not it's nowhere near as graphic as Scream. Like, graphic. Scream is very like... No. Like it's you not, see I didn't it. see any blood. No, there no. isn't. I mean, even if it I is, think, it's very. I think there's one bit where like um he stabs someone and then there's blood on the knife. But yeah. You never really oh, see any yeah. spurting. Yeah. So I wouldn't give like it. That. So I wouldn't really call it a slasher movie in that sense. But it's still got that vibe to it. It's a yeah. masked stalker who just follows her. Masked stalker with a knife. Yeah. And, and she has to find out who's killing her, and she has to survive in order to get to the next day. But also, you find that she is actually affecting her physically as well so she she's kind of running out of time in that sense so she might actually die um so let's throw it to abu this time what okay what do you want your good points. Oh, do you want a good point? I mean, okay. I'd like a review, please. I mean, well, specifically, like, the <laughs> plot, the, the cast, movie. the characters, the ambiance of the film. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, I um, mean. Okay, the good. Um, the yeah, good. good I'll say it's a horribly enjoyable film. It's. Like, it's unoffensive. You're not going to go in and be angry that you wasted your time. It's not the perfect movie. I love it. It's funny. It's great. I want yeah. to, you know what? And it's a perfectly good film to go out on a night and watch. I agree. Um, the plot line's quite Simple. unique. Yep. Tree's quite an interesting character. Like her development through the film is very... Um, I like it. Yeah, endearing. Yeah, there, there is. An arc. Yeah, and she's an arc. of the story. And I think she pretty much put the, held the film together. She's, I'm not, she's not really been in much. I don't know, but she looks an up-and-comer. And yeah, she did really well. I think yeah. her character really stood out. And, yeah, um, I thought I thought she had like a good sort of comedic timing. Yeah, she's got she's, a comedic she chops on it. Yeah, of like the sorority sister, then investigator, and then sort of fight strategist as well. <laughs> the thing with the blackout right at the end. At the end, he gets a very great. like ramble. Like she puts the hair back and like she like she's dons in, like, all black jacket. <laughs> she like puts a <laughs> knife in a sheath. I mean, who has a sheath for a knife? I'm, I'm, I'm a college <laughs> campus. Fair point. But um. Yeah, I thought I thought she was great, and because mm. it's a looping film, mm. you need to you need a good enough actor to carry mm. because everybody else their dialogue is going to be the same mm. all the way through. Yeah, the she's the thing. only one who really changes. Mm. But I did also like the guy who played Carter, the kind of love interest. Mm. I thought he was he was a nice guy. Well, nice yeah, guy. he was just a nice guy. <laughs> he was a very no nice ulterior motives. Just a nice guy. I, I I I my opinion on the film differs a bit. I yeah. also did enjoy the film. Mm. Um, I think the guys who make it, Blumhouse Productions, they're one of the best horror movie makers of the current day. Mm. They made Paranormal Activity, Insidious, mm. I can't remember, all, all the other, like, um, yeah. Sinister, yeah. Sinister uh, all yeah. those others one as well. So they know what they're doing, and um, in that respect, the film was super polished, mm. so well done. And yeah. even, I could sense there were mistakes in directing and mistakes in tone in the film mm. and even then the editing was so good it yeah was stitched I, mean, together I, I, really well. I love the clear. scenes whenever she gets murdered and she just ends up back in the bed like when she gets hit by the bat she mm. does that and yeah, yeah, yeah. falls around I mean, that was really well like bits yeah. like that you can tell yeah. the editing was really yeah. in the world but you know just you just mentioned that mm. at some point she becomes a fight strategist at yeah. some point she's but that's because she detective. evolves yeah at some time she's a actual 
Be a, mm. <laughs> she's a bee. A mean girl. Yeah, a mean let's just say a mean girl. <laughs> uh, at some point, she's suddenly nice, mm. and it's very difficult to. Uh, and I think it was, it, it was errors from the director's part putting all those things in so starkly against one another. A mean girl who's suddenly nice isn't yeah. also a fight strategist with also, a sheet. Also, where did she get night vision goggles from? Tell me about it exactly. Camp, camp so, I shop. Just, what? Yeah. <laughs> they, they just have it in the wardrobe, didn't you know? Yeah. Don't you have one Don't, of yours? <laughs> I mean, I was at uni for four years. I never had night vision goggles. <laughs> yeah. But I was never in a sorority. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you're one of those Greek... No carbs. <laughs> no, carbs. Yeah, no carbs. We all miss breakfast. <laughs> I think it yeah, actually there are so many jokes like so that. That brings up a thing. I think that the supporting cast are very unique as well. So like each of them have their own little personality, mm. and and they all kind of down the way where each suspect one of them at least throughout the movie. You kind of think okay, it could be this one, but then again, mm -hmm. it could be that one. It keeps it guessing for a bit. Yeah. I mean, after a while, you do, I mean, if if you are paying attention, you can kind of piece together what's happening. But I, I didn't. You didn't. <laughs> I clearly wasn't paying attention. Me, me mm. and my friend were just laughing at all. Yeah, of but them. at some point, but mm. sorority girl joke. But there's a good job of like kind of balancing out who the killer can be. But then they, but I didn't ag agree with the fact when they threw in that red herring at the end, like there could be another killer out there, and I'm like, uh -huh. they're trying to get too smart here. Just, just yeah, yeah. yeah back it down, tone it down a bit, you know, don't go there and try and be like... Yeah, because yeah. it starts off as a kind of parody of itself. And yeah, it's, like, it's, it's insulting. It's really taking the mick out of the, the whole sorority culture yeah. and, um, you know, oh my god, where's my pumpkin spice latte? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even take selfies, what's wrong with her? <laughs> that kind of stuff. But, then it, kind of, yeah, but yeah. then it gets very like, I'm like, you try to be a bit too clever for the film it was, I thought you don't need this whole... Trying to get some M. Night Shyamalan twist. Yeah, in exactly, <laughs> like, oh, that's not the real killer then. Yeah, so I think one... The major flaw I had with this movie is probably when the killer is revealed, uh -huh. it's like it doesn't really match up with the actions they do throughout the movie because like the killer is shown to be very heartless. Like they're not just murdering like her; they're murdering like, anyone who just gets in the way. Like mm -hmm. some random guy at a party, like to just destroys like ten yeah. times, just mm -hmm. stabs remorselessly, 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 <laughs> Remorseless. yeah. and then like you know, but it's, but when you find out the person who it is, you're kind of like, wait, you never showed that kind of tendency. Where did that come from? So <laughs> yeah, no, um, I, I do agree, mm. and again I go back to my point that the director just um, shot different scenes together, and yeah. the editor did a fantastic job of stitching yeah. them together, yeah, but and getting the tone smooth. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What I would say is this director is Christopher Landon, Landon, and, Landon. <laughs> and he did Scout's Guide to the Apocalypse, um, which is which then he tells me is great. Fantastic. <laughs> if you like the whole sort of parody. Um, mocking movies mm. things like scary movies like oh, pride, pride and prejudice oh, okay. versus zombies things mm. like that you're like sky scout to the apocalypse and i feel like that's more of the tone that they're going for rather than going for a full-on like paranormal activity yep. insidious oh. kind yeah. of vibe no, this, there's, there's, there's enough of those around comedy elements, like you're saying oh, it's okay. very very comedic I'll, I'll i mean it's so say, funny I'll there's even a montage i mean the <laughs> yeah, montage yeah. <laughs> with happy music i know exactly. have a montage <laughs> So, I mean, like I said, I wrote in the review on the blog, like, if you go into it thinking it's going to be a horror movie, it's not. So, yeah. think of it more as a mystery comedy, yeah. then you'll enjoy it a lot more. If, you think, if you're yeah. expecting, like, a full-on horror, it's not. Like, yeah. it's I mean, like at the beginning... Comic, comic thriller. At yeah. the beginning, there are a few, like, tense moments, mm -hmm. but then yeah. once the, you know, the murder is appearing, it kind of it loses yeah. its so appeal. Yeah. It melts into a comedy. Like, yeah. the first half is very... Strongly, yeah, uh, it's quite horror. sinister in a way. Yeah. And then I think the the first day before mm. it starts looping, yeah. correct, or yeah. maybe the second day. The first or second first, time, the first yeah. couple of loops yeah. is very serious, and there's like bits where the music builds mm. yeah. and it gets really suspicious. You've got the camera angles, and then it drops, and then it makes you jump. Mm -hmm. And I think that was really well done. And then it just went into the comedy thing and yeah. just lost that. Yeah. So, yeah. so it is a bit the message is a bit confused. That do you want to be? A horror or comedy but, but then again it didn't really affect the enjoyment of the film it I, is what I, it is I had a great time yeah, it's, me yes. and my friend were just crying you're not, you're, not going, <laughs> you're not going there thinking you know I'm going to expect a masterpiece of horror it's just no. you know it's got a bit of slash it's film to enjoy. yeah I mean, it's definitely yeah, exactly. same as it's literally just in the middle of the part it's just like yeah, uh, yeah. 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 surprisingly this film didn't do as well as they were expecting I mean it's really? more than you enough like, made their budget back mm. it, it was a 5 million budget film yeah, I can't imagine million. it would be that high. 40? Well, million they're million. not happy with that. <laughs> no, 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 because... because they uh, want to make more. Yeah, I mean, Paranormal Activity was a £15,000 budget, and they made over £150 million or so. Yeah, yeah, but I think Paranormal Activity had a hype, though, but you also had a lot of yeah. hype behind it. It's like CCTV so, footage as well. Yeah, so, so. so Blumhouse expected this to 
uh, I think cross 100 million or so. But then again, the marketing for this movie wasn't that big. I mean, yeah, I, I didn't even know about it. I didn't know about it. It's only because I walked past a poster cinema. Oh, what's this? I yeah. think I saw the trailer for it when uh, we went to watch The Ritual. Yeah. And I saw the trailer, I was like, well, this thing is interesting. Yeah. I like loops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just the, I like just, it. just <laughs> repeating it. Just, you don't have to think that much. Yeah. Great. So, um, short reviews. Um, I would say. Um, I would go first. I'll go first while, you, <laughs> while, while we stool. Switching. We'll, st we'll stool a bit longer for Mo's sake. Um, we stooled enough. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll say um, it's a treat. It's a treat. It's a treat. I will again stall for you and say <laughs> it is a funny looping slash. I like loops. Uh, I like loops. I'll, I'll just describe it the way it is. Um, Groundhog Day meets Scream. Groundhog Day meets Scream. Yeah. I'm not missing Grand Hogs Day. I need to get around to seeing oh, it. I know it's a cult classic. Really it's just amazing. I actually haven't seen it either. I know. That's why like my, my review is Edge of Tomorrow because I've seen Edge of Tomorrow. I know Grand Hogs Day, they mention it. I've never actually seen it. So I can't yeah, they literally it. mention it in the film. They gave it to They gave it, yeah. Gave, yeah. <laughs> but like, I haven't seen it, so I can't really say anything about it. So. All right. Okay, right. Moving on. And like we said before, it is now Halloween. So. 